Welcome. Um, um, share with you that it's an absolute pleasure uh, spending this time uh, with uh, everyone who is um, watching this. Uh, my name is uh, Jacob and I'm a member of the VR AR uh, MENA chapter. And I would like to um, share with you my uh, experience here in the Middle East, um, tackling the um, augmented reality um, sector um, across different industries. So um, first of all, I'd like to also say that I'm, I'm representing a company from Southern Spain called Sibiri. Um, and I'm pretty much gonna um, explain a, bit, a little bit about my experience and uh, about uh, the company that I'm representing and um, the references and clients and, and the feedback that we obtained from the market so far. As I mentioned, it's a company for Southern Spain. Um, it's a company that is specialized in transforming um, skills training and improving the performance using augmented reality. Uh, it's a very interesting experience uh, working with them. Um, when I joined them a couple of years ago, the company uh, was relatively a small company with few employees. Nowadays, uh, we are more than 90 employees um, covering uh, over 50 countries. Um, tackling different uh, type of clients uh, from mainly educational to industrial. So myself has been in the Middle East uh, since 2008, um, mainly helping businesses to um, start and develop uh, their, uh, their business uh, across the whole Middle East and North Africa. However, as I mentioned earlier, two years ago, I started this uh, amazing uh, um, adventure with Sibiri, um, helping them to um, start and develop the business, um, introducing them um, to educational industrial clients, as well as understanding the market a bit better. Um, as you may know, um, certain industries um, in this part of the world um, are still not very uh, developed. So it's all about, as we all know, educating and getting feedback from, uh, from qualified um, companies interested in new technologies. So just to give you some references about the, the work we've done so far here in the Middle East in the last couple of years. We managed to work with uh, companies such as uh, Saudi Aramco, um, uh, Saudi Electricity Company, um, and many universities um, across the whole Middle East and North Africa. Um, so a mixture of uh, educational and industrial uh, clients. Before, obviously, we started here, um, our operations. Um, we developed a product that actually uh, won several awards that you can see on the presentation uh, at the moment on this slide. Um, awards from uh, different uh, institutions and pretty much as you can see from a lot of countries all around, the, all around the world such as Germany, US, India and so on. Right now, um, there is uh, more reasons about um, the reasons why to start this project. Um, there is a lack of desire to work in manufacturing. The, uh, this practice hasn't been innovated uh, in, in early 50 years. Shortage of welders, manufacturing defects, uh, welding issues labor costs, and so on. So this new way of training by utilizing our solution uh, powered by augmented reality is really creating a gap and, and providing um, a very interesting added value for, for the users. Everyone knows that, for example, in aviation, uh, um, new technologies are impacting uh, heavily. Um, for example, the simulators on aviation, right? 
they've been they've been being used for a very long time and it's proven that it's uh, providing uh, a lot of value along as long as uh, along uh, reducing costs and increasing the uh, learning processes and many other benefits right so we pretty much followed this um, this type of uh, business model however in welding um, as you can see on this slide again we are stating that the way uh, welders have been training for the past year is the same thing with no technology high risks high costs so we wanted to cover this um, these weaknesses or these problems uh, via augmented reality um, with our a product called Soldamatic. Just comparing the traditional method to the augmented reality method that we created, we, as you can see, um, decreasing many of, many of the issues, such as the consumables used in welding, um, the risks, um, the real workshop time reduction, as well as, uh, for example, uh, creating more or helping to uh, have more certified uh, trainees in welding, uh, motivating and attracting students to this practice that is uh, experiencing a shortage all over the world and many others. So this is a very good visual example about what we do. So ap apart from just creating the, the product, the simulator, as you can see, the mission is just to uh, maximize um, the creation of classrooms with our technology using augmented reality and minimizing the old practice practices, such as the uh, real lab you see on the uh, uh, right side of the picture. So on the left side, classrooms with augmented reality. And as you can see um, at, the, at, the, at the end of the, uh, the classroom, there's like a screen. This is showing that we actually interconnect the simulators to a, a teacher software that will be uh, explaining later. So the instructor can also monitor the students and uh, work on the performance and uh, many other benefits. Covering the whole educational industrial uh, sectors, um, providing a an, an state-of-the-art solution with, uh, via um, augmented reality. We, also, uh, we keep innovating. So uh, our one of the latest innovations that we um, um, we developed is uh, robotics. So we actually working with robots and in improving the efficiency of the robots um, using our simulation using our solution uh, with augmented reality. We all know robotics are, um, uh, you know, uh, is a new trend and uh, somehow we'll be replacing a lot of uh, uh, industries yeah. and so on. Uh, so we are anticipating to this and, and using our simulators to actually train robots as well. Mm -hmm. Here of one of our um, clients, which is I think uh, Mercedes-Benz, and this is an actual simulation of uh, how a robot uh, can be trained to weld a specific part of the chassis of a vehicle for Mercedes Benz. Or the simulator that you've seen on the pictures, we also provide a learning management system. So this is allowing the instructor to actually monitor and understand what the trainees are doing, what they're doing right, what they're doing wrong. And this is something obviously very important these days because this is allowing the students and the instructors to learn remotely. So they don't necessarily have to go to the uh, training centers and so on. They can actually study remotely and understand what they're doing, how they're improving, what are the mistakes, and also allow the instructor to also, uh, actually monitor these generate reports and many other benefits. <laughs> So I hope everyone enjoyed um, this presentation. Um, okay. I'm not um, sure if the other thing that would be very interesting would be there should be a transition from the virtual, um, from the augmented reality to real life. You know, how well has the transition been? And then the other thing that would be interesting to know will be cost. How affordable is this um, solution? Yeah. So, so. The, the solution that we're providing is, is not made to actually replace real welding. 
is actually to complement real welding. Absolutely. To, to add value to weld to welding Absolutely. training. Absolutely. Yeah. So, so the way we we try to explain um, potential users about this technology is that with this technology, they're reducing costs, they're increasing risks, uh, decreasing risks. Sorry, um, increasing the uh, or improving the learning processes and so on. But this is not to replace the real practice. This is to complement it. So after many studies, um, we came to the conclusion that we are up to, we can do um, from 60 to 70% of the real training. And then there, the rest of the training, let's say 30 okay. or 40%, they still need to go to the, to the real, the real uh, workshop. Real, yeah, real work. Okay. Correct. Especially in this type of practice, which is very handy and you, you need to um, at some point actually feel the real world.